So, um, this little boy's story. So, I wake up, I see this video of this little boy crying about how he's getting bullied, and it touched my heart. It really did. Then, I'm starting to see a picture of him and his family holding Confederate flags. And I'm like, alright, that's, that's a bit odd. When I, you know, Confederate flag is a racist symbol. Whether you like it or not. Uh, alright, it's whatever. Then, you know, I start hearing reports of, you know, he's calling the... The reason why he's getting bullied is because he's calling the black kids at his school niggers. I'm like, well then, damn. And now, I'm starting to... I read this morning that his dad is a motherfucking jailed white supremacist. It's only a matter of, of time before this motherfucker starts working for the Trump administration, bro. I bet you every day this motherfucker wakes up, eats a mayonnaise sandwich, and goes kiss his dog, and thanks God that he was born in a white America. God damn, God don't like ugly, so we know he must hate your ugly ass, because you the ugliest kid I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. This nigga look like a human version of mashed potatoes. This motherfucker look like a microwave peep. This motherfucker look like a squirrel with Down syndrome in a face ass motherfucker. Why does nigga nose look like my big toe? And the black celebrities, we really stuck at Lexo for you. We really did. And you calling our brothers and sisters niggers now? Fuck you. Fuck out here. Continue to get bully. You a piece of shit, bro. You are old enough, even though you're a young motherfucker, you are old enough to distinguish right from wrong. And you chose to do wrong, bro. But can you really blame him, though? You gotta know this nigga's probably a product of incest. I bet you this nigga's dad is his father and uncle at the same time. So I bet this nigga goes up to his auntie mama and asks him if he could play with the colored kids, if he can have the colored kid over so they can cook on mashed potatoes and fried chicken for him. Oh, racist ass piece of shit. I bet you after he was done crying, you know his mom gave up the pussy for him. You have to know, because these motherfucking down south redneck ass motherfucking pieces of shit, they all fucking weirdos. I bet this nigga brings moonshine in his lunchbox. You know damn well after this fail finesse, this motherfucker gonna try to shoot up his school with a motherfucking musket. You know damn well this motherfucker probably beats his little ass uncircumcised dick to motherfucking Trump's inauguration speech. God damn this motherfucker really getting off lucky. Cause if it was my old middle school motherfucker, you would not survive, bro. Niggas was ruthless. Niggas was heartless. Niggas was monsters. Kind of like you. Except the difference between them and you was they was a racist. They was just pieces of shits on the inside. But you're a piece of shit on the inside and on the outside. This motherfucker look like he robbed kids in his school for extra chromosomes. Motherfucker, do that shit in New York City. No matter how old you are, motherfuckers will knock the chromosomes out of you. Even though there's probably like two left in you, dumbass. This motherfucker look like a real life cartoon character. Why does nigga look like one of the pigs from Angry Birds? When this when King was born, his mom should have just threw his ugly ass in the motherfucking garbage, bro. This motherfucker probably beats off to his mom getting fucked on daily. And you know it's strange. I bet you she gets BBC each and every night, but yet she hates black people. Very odd. They put ham down your pants. I bet this nigga dick sing, so you might as well call that a ham and cheese sandwich. Now go back to fucking your dog, you ugly, racist, finesse, and piece of shit.